Okay, hello, welcome everybody. This is a training video from Strings Attached on how to create a live broadcast using the Stageit site. And um, at the bottom of this video, you should be seeing it on YouTube, there are some links, uh, at least one link that will lead you to this page, which is called the Video Flash Media Settings. And um, <clears throat> so look down below, that link will be very helpful in setting up. Um, I'm assuming you're a volunteer and you've never done this before and you're setting it up for a show, uh, hopefully a strings attached show, and we're going to walk you through the steps. First thing you do is go to stageit.com and log into my account um, by reformer account. Uh, that information will be um, below the video as well. This is going to be a private video, so I won't be giving it out to just anybody. It'll actually only be volunteers and, and uh, interns. So my login for my performer account should be in the info right below the links there. And then you want to also, <clears throat> in, on another computer or another browser, right now I've got uh, Firefox up, and you want to open another browser like Internet Explorer or Chrome, make an account for yourself as a audience member, an audience member account. So you're going to need to have my account up and then another browser have an audience member account up so that you're able to view what we call a sound check. So the first thing we're going to do is, should we just tell them how to make a sound check? Uh, I think we save sound checks for last. We'll, we'll save sound checks for last. We're gonna, we'll go over equipment. Let's go over to settings. Okay, we have uh, Eric rolled on. <laughs> Did uh, I say it right? Yes. Well Here, done. and he's an intern. Uh, this is, uh, we're in the fall of uh, 2012. He's an ACC student um, at the Commercial Music, is that right? Oh, it's now Music Performance and Business. Okay, Music Performance and Business. And so um, he's going to be helping me walk through the steps. And why don't we get up against this sheet here so we can see you better. Um, Okay, should, what, uh, should we start with uh, talking about whatever, you take it away, well, Eric, nice and slow. Well, is with your camera, you want to make sure that you're using FireWire. Right now, USB isn't fast enough okay. to be used for live broadcasting. Once you make sure that you have your camera on. Let's, t let's pull that camera up here so I can see it. Bring it over here in front of the, the screen here so I can kind of zoom in. Uh, turn it around. So Okay, so this, on your camera, I'm just going to jump in here. You need to look for, let's pull that out. So we can say you can see what a firewire connection looks like. Okay, you're going to look for a firewire connection. That's this training video is only going to work for firewire. Okay, so it says something like DV on this. In this case, it's DV. And <clears throat> so we have a firewire cable. There are newer ones. Uh, this is an older version of firewire that works with Mac. So you're going to put it in there. That's going to transmit your video signal at a very high speed over the cable and then eventually over the internet. So you hook it into there. Uh, anything else we want to say about this camera that we're just talking um, about? I guess you might want to calibrate the white balance in the front. Right, on this one. This is a Panasonic DV1000, which is right here. We'll talk about white balancing in a minute. Let's Definitely. get back to that. So we got the FireWire cable, and I'll show you where it goes over here into the Mac. This is the FireWire connection. Let me get a nice view of that. So we'll take it out. This is what the FireWire port looks like. And that's and you put it in there. Now I've got the camera connected. Now if you're running OS 10, uh, the computer should immediately recognize should the camera that you have. That that always doesn't happen. But on this particular model, it's a Panasonic DVX 100B. This Macintosh running OS 10 recognizes it, right? Yeah. We've got another camera here too. If you're interested. Sony Handycam. Which uh, works as well. And you can see it's got that digital video output right there. Whoops. See it? Okay. What's, what do you think? What should we do next? Uh, well, first thing we need to do is check our internet settings. <clears throat> so if you go into the file that we'll You're gonna go over here? place in our Under description, yeah. we're going to we're gonna test our internet speed with speedtest.net. And where are we testing this right now? Um, currently, we are testing this on our own modem. Okay, at, at Will's house. At Will's house. So wherever you are, you need to hook hardwire into the modem. And in this case, let's show the modem so they know specifically. You don't want to test it wirelessly. Not wireless. So you've got an Ethernet cable right there going to your computer that you're going to test right there. So if you're broadcasting, you need to have a direct connection. You need to turn off. Let's just show that really quick. If there's any wireless going on, like on a Mac, 
it's going to be the air, turn the airport off. In this case, it's off, so that means that we are hardwired to the internet. This computer is is hardwired to the internet. So, uh, what did you do? You just click test, I just right? Click begin test. And as you can see, we've got 50 megabytes. Up, that's the download speed, right? Mm -hmm. The download. one we're mainly concerned with is the upload speed. That's what we're going to use to broadcast. So, when it gets done, it'll go to that. Now it's checking upload. It should be five megabits, which is the highest the Time Warner. Yeah, basically. So with that number, if it's five or higher, then you can use the first internet settings, which are the high speed settings. So you're going to take these numbers and put them into Flash Media Live Encoder. If you don't have it already on your operating system, you can just type in FMLE on Google, and it's the first download link you see right there. Once you have it downloaded, you can just go over. Keep in mind your internet settings. This is for a Mac, this by the way. This is for a Mac. So we've, we pulled up the program. This is the program that will take the images and the, the uh, video from the camera and encode it to be streamed on the internet. So this is what it looks like. Let me give you a little time to look at that. Now the settings you can see on the left, we have video. There's a check mark for the video. There's a check mark on the right for the audio. So the settings that Eric was talking about are going to be inputted here. If we have a very high upload speed, in which case we do on this one, we're going to use the high upload. Get on there real quick. Now if you're if you're very low speed, then you want to use this lower one. Simple as that. Again, the link should be below the video for these settings. Let's go back over here. One thing we definitely want to keep in mind is that our audio source will not be coming from our camcorder. That's right. So we will be using a separate microphone, which you can select here on your drop down menu. If you want to make sure we're using line in, you go down to your system preferences. On what? On a Mac. On a Mac, right? So we can just go to Finder, go to the top, system preferences. Let's see where to go. We go over to sound. You want to make sure we have the nice same one. Because I got to. Definitely. Gotta get a focus on it. What, where'd you go? I just closed it over. Okay. Notice how it's the same. Line in. Right. And line in. And basically all you want to do is just adjust your levels so you don't get any clipping. Okay, where's that? Test. Is this on? Okay, so you made sure that you're, you clicked on line in. Yep. Line in and line in. Okay, and let's, just... look, let's show them this mic. This is a stereo mic that you could get at Radio Shack. And what's great about it is it's got it's uh, one microphone, but there's actually left and right channels. I can't see it with the with where the light is. Let's, let's see right here. It's a good place. Okay, so it has a cable that is actually a mini cable that plugs into the line in input over here. Okay, as you can see. Now one of the things that um, when you set this up to record the band, not record broadcast rather. Can you push that back in? Um, yes. I'm going to bring an extender because we may need, in this case, hold that up. This is an extension cable that will allow me to get the microphone closer to the band. If, if the microphone is far away, you're going to have a low level and people are going to complain about it and <laughs> not being able to hear the band. So this will allow me to run the microphone. You want a good 25 foot cable and I should uh, have provided you one with in our kit. So that's going to hook into the microphone and then once again into this jack over here. Make sure that this particular microphone is on, and and uh, we'll go back to testing it. You, you'll notice that if you have it off, it's not going to register anything. Test, test. That's one way to make sure you've got the right level in. You've got the right input set. So, how do we test? Uh... Well, first things first. Make sure your microphone is on, and just speak into it. Test, test, test. Mm -hmm. And then, test. so the input level there, slider right now? It's at 87%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So set that first and then close the window. And go back to your software. The next thing we need to do is you need to go to the sound check. Okay. Sound check? What's that? Well, on stage it? No, wait. Are we done here? Are we sure? I Did you check the levels here? Check, check. So I don't see it coming check, up. There check. we go. Awesome. We noticed it's not redlining. Okay. Check. No red lines. So you want it to be just below the red. Just below the red. Or a line. little bit in the red. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we've got audio checked and all our settings. Right here it's uh, 44.1, which is CD quality, and then the bit rate is 128. 
stereo MP3 line in. This is for a high resolution connection. And something to just keep in mind, let's say you want to experiment a little bit with the settings with your internet connection. Input size creates the biggest effect in lag. So just keep that in mind. Okay. But you shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> You're following have. our settings. Exactly. Okay, so that's how you set up the software. And uh, I'm going to take a little break here holding this camera and do part two with, uh, oh, let's try to do it with all one, one, one video. Forget what I just said. Okay, so now we're going to go to the settings in Stage It. And we're going to create a sound check. The way you do that is you go to your performer account, create a sound check. It's very easy. And you can just leave it all. Everything that's filled in is fine. Just leave it, scroll down, and then what? Just save. Additional options, we want to check that. And then what? We'll talk to him. We definitely want to check the advanced because we are using FMLE for broadcasting. Flash Media. Live Encoder. Live Encoder. That's all we need, right? And we go save. Okay, then what? Let's go to stage. Okay. And then we're going to take these two numbers here and put them in a certain place in the software. The URL stream. So Apple C. The corner. Go slow. So make sure I get it. Tell them where it goes. Right there, right? Ryan Stream. Okay. And then we're going to grab the URL. Go back to the sound check. Right there. Control all. Select all. Control C. Mm -hmm. And then that's inputted right there. It's already set. Okay. Disconnect, actually, because it, it'll, yeah. Now you've got that field open to put what you just had in there. Awesome. Good. Then connect. By the way, it's a little tip. <coughs> oh, all right. Okay, so we've got the now it's set to stream to that sound check. And this is the same process for setting up an actual show. Okay, and then what? Next thing we want to do is just go to the stage. Okay. Now you're going to see a blank window because we haven't gone online yet. So we just go back to FMLE and push start. And it's actually not going to appear in this window. You have to go to the uh, the audience account that you created on the other browser. Okay, for some reason this is a bug they haven't worked out. It doesn't appear, but as you can see, it says on air right there. So on this one over here, log into my per, um, audience account, which is another account, and we'll show you how it comes up. Okay, so he's going to log into will at will taylor dot com. So, and you'll find our link at the bottom. Oh yeah, the link. The link for the show is right here. And we're getting it up over here on the right. Thanks for bearing with us. Okay, so <laughs> tag team. Okay. So now, as you can see, the show that we're currently broadcasting should come up here, but why don't you hold the camera? I haven't turned on the camera. This particular camera, show it over here, over here, over here. You have to turn this on. It was broadcasting nothing. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's go back over to Media and Code. Now you can see there's an image coming through. Yeah, and now we see that we have an image. That it's working over here, and it might take a few minutes to catch up. There's a natural five second delay. Mm -hmm. And you can actually put some headphones in if you want to check the sound. But if you set up everything as we had done, you should hear this microphone is off. So check. It's still, it should be working now. That and that's it. Why is it? Why is reload that? it. Control R or reload whatever. Sometimes you have to reload it. It's fair. Mm -hmm. Now it should work. And while he's doing that, and we are online finally. We're moving now. Yes. Okay. And then let's let's talk a little bit about this camera, it's because they might be using this camera. They will be using this camera. Let's come over here for a second. You've got two ways that you can zoom and you can monitor. You pull this guy out like this, and uh, you've got a screen here for monitoring what's going on. Now I recommend holding it 
one way is actually one really good way of holding it is like this keeps it really steady and you've got zoom up here this is a really slow zoom and right now it's not working because I don't know oh you know why because we're not it's not selected okay hold on then you've got this other zoom right here so you could hold it like this what left and then zoom with this thumb here now if you're actually doing a tape for me, if you have got tape in here, which is uh, you put a tape in there, etc. Press the red button on top to start recording, or you can press this red button over here. Okay? And uh, you gotta make sure that again that it's set to camera, not VCR. Alright, as you can see, and if you need it to be on VCR, you would just press this button. But once again, left hand, and then I can zoom and I can hold it really steady. And I can look right down here what's going on and zoom in. I can get down low. I can get up high like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's what I recommend. You should be able to get this one to work, I think, be, by this zoom down here, this servo. Let's see if that did it. Yeah. Huh? This is not working. I think it's broken. But wait a minute. I know what it is. Put this back to servo. There's, see the zoom handle right here? I put it on to three. Ah, oh, that did it. I'm. This is the speed. One, two, three. Three is the fastest. Two, slower. One, slower. So right now I got it on three, and this one on the top works. It's a lot slower, this one on the top, than the one on the bottom. So if you wanted to do something, say, where you zoomed all the way into the, the band, wherever, and you wanted to slowly zoom out, you should use this one. Why now? Set fast. So I'm going to actually put it on two. Okay, another thing about this camera is focusing. <coughs> right now, it's not set on auto, but you you want to have this button set. You click that once, and you'll see a little A, green A comes up. That means auto is on. And what you want to do is, actually, you want to zoom in on a white piece of paper or a white wall. In this case, I'm zooming in on that wall. And click down here, this button. Can you grab that? Auto oh. white balance. Click that once actually. I'll let the camera do its thing, and then when the ATW goes away, then you're, you're good. Now I can zoom 